So basically, I've seen a comment on one of my videos. It's called, men have to take accountability for the loss of sexual tension in the relationship. And I received a complaint comment. So the man said, it's funny how the man gets blamed for everything. She stopped sleeping with him. It's the man's fault. She cheats. It's the man's fault. She has a bad attitude. It's the man's fault. She's in her masculine energy. It's the man's fault. She doesn't want to submit. It's the man's fault. Then he's gone over to say some other stuff, isn't it? As a man, you are responsible for how your woman acts towards you. But this is the problem with not just men, people in general. No one wants to take accountability for how people treat them. Now, obviously my man's only seen this video. Yeah, what I'm talking about, obviously the loss of sexual tension is due to the man's idiot behaviour and it, acting goofy and all them things there, isn't it? Yeah. But he ain't seen the video where I was talking about, I wouldn't defend any of my female cousins, yeah? Because I know, say, if a man was to bust one of my female cousins' ass or whatever, she probably will go back to him. So, so JY's going to ride out, done the you start smack out the you, whatever, innit? It might just be a fisting or whatever, innit? But certain, certain men are neeky, you know? Like, I know man who have started a fight with a man and called the Jakes. So, so, so you started a fight with a man, you threw the first punch and you called the police. Certain men are like that, you know? Certain man will beat up a gal, then... The older cousin or brother, whoever will come around, smack him up, and then he will call the police. Start with in a minute. You've taken advantage of someone who's weaker than you, and then you've got your ass kicked. A man's come and whooped your ass, and you're going to call the police. Like, you're an idiot. So, I could potentially go to jail if I go and defend one of my, one of my girl cousins and that, innit? Yeah. So, <laughs> funny enough, when I made that video, there was all comments, like people were liking the video, comment underneath the video saying, obviously, because I was saying I won't defend none of my female cousins. I'm not going to defend someone who, they live their life off of emotion. They know the man is bad, you know, they know he's not good, but I love him. He beat me up, he gave me a black eye, but I still love him. So I'm not defending anyone like that. And I made kind of like a follow-up video to that. So in that video I was saying, if you're in a volatile situation, blah, you need to leave that situation, you know. If you're a girl, if you're getting beaten up by your man, you need to leave. If you're a man getting beaten up by your girl, don't get it, just, there's certain men out here, certain men are holding some licks. Certain men are getting thumped in their face by their girl. Certain men, the woman has no respect for them. Certain men have to sleep out in the hallway on the floor like a fucking dirty dog. Imagine that. Imagine you, you got a gal or if you had a gal in the past, whatever. Imagine she's lost so much respect for you, so much sexual tension has gone out of the window that she don't even want to sleep in the same room as you. She don't want you next to her in the bed. Go and sleep on the floor outside the yard like a dirty dog. Furthermore, certain people, they sleep with the dog in the bed. So you're even lower than a fucking dog. If you're in a volatile situation, you need to leave the situation. Why has it even got to that stage? Man, them getting smacked up by their girl. That's some wimpish... I, I even see a program about it, you know. I think it was called Man Beaters. Years ago, it was probably about 15 years ago or something like that. Yeah, it was about 12 or 13. About man getting their ass whooped by their missus. What the fuck is going on? I'm not saying that it's man for be beating up girl or nothing like that, but come on, fam. How's you as a man getting smacked up by a woman? But to be fair, these women were like... They look like they're like cage fighters, don't they? But still, that's no excuse, isn't it? If you're in a volatile situation, you need to leave the situation. Funny enough, I see a video about two months ago on a man's YouTube channel, isn't it? The introduction was a video from... It was either ITV News or BBC News. It was about 20 seconds long. And a man said that his wife burnt him with an iron. Now, she didn't burn him in his face. She got 14 years. One four, you know. I thought, fuck, that's quite a hefty sentence, you know, for burning man with an iron. Yeah, I get it. Like, fuck, you know, that's quite torturous, isn't it? That's, like, evil to burn someone with an iron or whatever. But, like, I know a man on the road who's opened up man and that, and that man have got less sentence than that. And this woman got 14 years or whatever, isn't it? Again, she didn't burn him in his face. Not that I'm condoning anyone. Disclaimer. No one used no iron on nobody. She's got 14 years in it. Now, most, especially like if you're in a red pill, you know this neaky red pill community or whatever, innit, yeah? Where they hate women and that. I'm not saying all men, but men that just hate women or whatever, innit? 
they will hate a story like that. Like that's that that those are the kind of stories that they want to hear in it. Yeah, like oh yeah, see, women are evil in it. We, women ain't evil in it. Yeah, but that's the kind of stories that 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 these men these men want to hear in it. Yeah. But for me, my brain's wired different. I'm not going underneath the comment section and I'm not writing nothing anyway, but I'm not going to be, oh yeah, that woman, this, that woman, that. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Why did he even get to that stage? How did he get to that stage? Because the woman didn't just get out of bed one day, you know, like, fuck it, you know. Let me go and burn this pussy. Oh, no, 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 no. First of all, she told him, shut up. Then fuck you. Then get the fuck out of my yard. Then she slapped him. Then she pushed him. Then she boxed him. Then she bottled him. Then one day, you know what? I'm going to take it a bit further, innit? Bun man with an iron. I even know a youth. He's a year younger than me. His mum apparently stabbed his fucking stepfather. Again, it didn't... I know, say, it didn't start from, you know... Uh, I, I know, say, it didn't just start... She just wake up one day and think, oh, I'm going to bore you. No, it starts from all the little foolishness and that. To me, when I hear a story about a man getting his ass burnt by a woman, I know say that there was a build up to this. I don't think the woman's a fucking raving lunatic. And even if she is a raving lunatic, once you see signs like that, get the fuck out of the situation. If you're a man, if you're, if your woman pokes you, if your woman stabs you, if a woman does some madness to you, it's your job to get rid of the woman, leave the situation. Similarly, women. If you're in an abusive relationship, fuck all this, oh, I'm on webcam and all of that. That's some sign, some signal thing that they do or whatever um, to, to show that show the people them that they're in an abusive relationship. Bruv, leave the fucking relationship. Why? Like, what, what is it in your brain that thinks, oh, I should stay? Like, do you like being a victim? Like, come on, man. Oh, like some, oh I've got kids. I don't want to get... My partner locked up and he don't see the kids no more. Blood, you might not see your kids because you might be dead. You might be dead, you know. Like, women die, you know, from domestic violence, you know. The man might not even mean to kill the woman. It don't fucking matter if it was intent or not. Women die from domestic violence, you know. If you're in a volatile situation, it's down to you to get yourself out of that situation. You have to be held accountable for how people treat you. Now, this is outside of relationships. If you've got friends that don't respect you, if you've got a boss that's talking mad, if your mum treats you like an idiot, that's your fault. That's your problem. You have allowed them to treat you like an idiot. People will only get away with what you allow them to get away with because there's someone in that person's life that they won't treat like, treat, treat like that. So they know the levels. They, they know who to fuck with. Like they always say, they famous say, people know who to fuck with, innit? They're doing it to you because they know that you're not going to do nothing back. They know they can get away with it. There's someone, whoever these people are that's playing with you, disrespecting you, there's someone in their life that they wouldn't do that to because they know there's going to be consequences and repercussions. Or the person's just going to stand up for themselves. Ha, let, let's all try standing up for ourselves, innit? Yeah? It's not about pulling out this and riding out on this person or even fighting. Bro, don't talk to me like that. Who are you talking to like that? Your boss talking mad to you. Stick it on your boss. You don't have to shout. You don't even have to get up out of your seat. Talk to me properly. Talk to me properly, innit? Don't, don't, don't disrespect me. I'm not your, I'm not your you. Your parents talking mad, stick it on your parents. You have to think about it this way. If someone's disrespecting you, why are you even going to take it? Why, 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 why are you going to allow someone to treat you like that? Come on, fam. Come on, man, but... Back to the original thing. If a man's gal is not sleeping with him or she's being disrespectful and that. It's the man's fault. Why have you not left this woman? You think my girl, you think my girl could be disrespectful to me? And I'm just gonna, no, there's, yeah, there's, there's gonna be a punishment. Now nah, I'm not gonna hit the woman, nothing like that. But the, the punishment is I'm gonna fucking leave. And then when you beg me back, how are you gonna make it up to me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make her clean up your yard, do something in it. Like, show her that if you fuck with me, if you disrespect me, if you disrespect me, you know, you're going to have to... Yeah, you're going to have to come back and be submissive. I'm not, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. 
not having it. If you're in a volatile situation, you're in a relationship where you don't get respect or nothing like that, you need to walk away from the situation, man. But most people can't because they're weak. And bullies prey upon weak people. That's what... So if someone's disrespecting you or whatever, innit, yeah, they're basically bullying you. They're basically bullying you. And they're bullying you and getting away with it because you're weak. You don't stand up. Man for stand up, innit? So, yeah, man. Man them, if your girl's disrespectful, if your girl's acting fiery, something to do with how you're acting. You need to put a stop to it. Not every woman can be tamed, but every woman can be broken up with. Stay wise.